Hey Valley Metal, welcome back to what should be your last math video of the year. Let's start like we always do with the trivia question. Who are these dudes and what's the name of their TV show? We'll be back after instruction to find out what that is. Officially tonight our target is 11.9b. I can find the volume of a triangular prism on three, one, two, three. Let's do this thing. There's the last time. All right, I call this one Papa's Problem. My dad's a farmer, and he has troughs like this down on the farm that he uses to water the animals. Well, Papa's Problem is he needs to know how much water can this trough hold. So he's got the measurements here. Now, in order to do this, you really only have to do two steps. First of all, you need to find the area of the base. Well, this is a triangular prism, and we call it a triangular prism because the base here is a triangle, and it's three-dimensional. So if I move this aside, you can see that the actual triangular base, the height of it, is 40 centimeters. And the base is 60, so we have a height of 40 and a base of 60. So that's the first step. Find the area of the triangle, the base. So we use the formula 1 half base times height. So I have 1 half 60 times 40. Well, 60 times 40, 6 times 4 is 24, and there's my two zeros, so that's 2,400. So 1 half, 2,400, if I simplify that, that's 1,200. Now I'm ready for step 2. Step 2, you find the volume of the prism by just measure, or multiplying the base times the height. Well, here's my base, 1,200, times the height, the prism height, it shows it right here. It's 120 centimeters long, so times 120. So a basic fact here is 12 times 12, which is 144. And then, of course, I have three zeros, so it would be 144,000 centimeters cubed because we have three measurements there. I like to think about finding the base or the volume of uh, triangular prisms like a piece of cake. If you think of this cake here, it has three layers. So the base of the cake, if we can figure out what the base of the cake is, and then multiply that by three because there's three layers, we will have it. Much like we find the area of this base, this triangle, and we multiply it by 120 because that's how tall it is. This piece of cake is three layers. This one is 120. All right, let's get to our must-know words for tonight. First of all, we have volume. That's the space occupied by a three-dimensional object. And then we have volume of a triangular prism. That's just base times height. Quick review. You need to know how to find the area of a triangle here. So we've done this before, but let's just do a quick review. In order to find the area of a triangle, you simply have to take the base times the height and then divide by 2 or multiply it by 1 half. So here's our formula. 1 half base times height. So plug in my formula, plug in my values into my formula. So 1 half base, which is 10, times 6, which is the height. Now, I've got 1 half of 60. Now, if I didn't do anything else here, if I just left that at 60, that would be the area of this entire rectangle here. We need 1 half. That's why we multiply by 1 half or divide by 2, and so 1 half of 60 is 30. So the actual area of this triangle, then, would be 30 units squared. If you need a little refresher course on that, you can Google on my YouTube channel area of a triangle and watch that video. All right. Look who stopped back for the final video to make a guest appearance. It's Yoda. Yoda, what do you got to say today about uh, finding the volume of... the math Yoda, that follows the steps. Hmm? Ah, okay. And uh, I have no idea what that means. Darth Vader, translation, please. <sighs> Follow these steps and you will avoid the power the dark side. Okay, I think basically what our two guest speakers are saying is follow these two steps and you're going to get the right answer. All right, step one, find the area of the base. So here's our triangular prism. The area of the base, one half of four times five. So here's the base, four. Here's the height. So one half, four times five. And then I simplify four times five. So I have one half of 20, which of course is 10 or 10 inches squared. That's the area or the base of our triangle. Now, step two, find the volume. Go base times height. Here comes my base down here, and I multiply it times the height, which is this measurement right here. That's how many layers high it is. Remember the piece of cake? Seven layers on this one. 10 times seven is 70. We have 70 inches cubed. All right, very good. One more time. Strong be the master.
Yoda that follows the steps? Ah. Yes, Master Yoda, you are so correct. All right, let's try two problems, then I'll cut you loose and have you work one on your own. What is the volume of this triangular prism? All right, well, we know we have to find the triangular base. That's step one. Find the uh, area of the triangle. So here it is, sliding it down. I can see that the actual area here, we're going to have a 12 times 5. So the base would be 12 and the height would be 5. So here's my formula. 1 half, 12 times 5. Simplify that basic fact to 1 half of 60, which is 30. So the area of my base here, my triangular base, is 30. So plug that in. There's my base. Now how high is it? 8 meters. So 30 times 8, which is 240. 240 meters cubed. And that's all there is to it. All right? Steps 1 and 2. All right, let's try another one before you're on your own. What is the volume of this triangular prism? All right, once again, let's take my, my triangle off so I can just double check it. I got to go all the way down here, and my measurement is at 6. The base is 6, and the height is over here is 8. So I have 1 half 6 times 8, or 1 half of 48 when I simplify that, which is 24. So the area of my triangle here is 24. So there's my base. So 24 times 5. It's five layers or five stacks or five inches. So 24 times 5 is 120. And of course, that's inches cubed because I have the three measurements. One, two, and three. Okay? All right. It's ready for you to try a problem. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can find what the volume of this triangular prism is. Go ahead. I see dead. I knew you wanted me to say that in the last video, so I did. All right, let's see how you did. Well, the base of it is 3, and the height of the base is 6. So there's my triangle over there, 3 by 6. So I took 1 half, 3 times 6. That's the same as 1 half times 18, and that, of course, is 9. So my base is 9. My height is 5. It's laying on its side, but there's my height. 9 times 5 is 45. 45 millimeters cubed. I bet you you got that one right. All right. One more. And this is the Yabbit. See if you can figure it out. Go ahead. I'm back. All right. The volume of this one here is a little bit different because they actually gave you the area. Well, hey, that's like a piece of cake. They're going to give you the area. All you have to do is multiply it by the height. So here's the shaded area, and they said A is 40. So there's the base of my triangle is 40 centimeters squared. Multiply it by the height, 40 times 5. I have 200 centimeters cubed. Okay? Nice work tonight. All right. Here's your ticket to the show. Go ahead and complete that. I'll collect that on the way into class tomorrow or advisory. All right. Let's get to the trivia question. Last trivia question of the year. Who are these dudes? And what is the name of their show? It's Pawn Stars, of course. It's totally addicting. Some guy brings in the Mickey Mantle jersey, and I've got to wait to see if it actually was worn by Mickey Mantle and how much it's worth. So I sit through three commercials and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but it is a fun show. We got, uh, whoa, sorry about that. We got Big Hoss, we got Rick, and we got the old man. The only person missing is Chumley. Well, thank you very much for being a great audience tonight. I'll see you tomorrow in school. And I appreciate you watching all 107 math videos this year. Have a great evening. Bye.